The NHS walkout, which took place today, was billed as its biggest ever, and it would have been bigger still had two unions in Wales not cancelled their strikes late last week. There, as in Scotland, a fresh pay offer has seen further industrial action put on hold. But in England, no such breakthrough, meaning thousands of operations cancelled, while tens of thousands of nurse and nurses and ambulance workers mounted pickets across the country. There have been lots of firsts in this dispute and today marks another one. Ambulance workers and nurses on strike together, tens of thousands of them. The biggest day of action in the NHS ever. In Brighton, like everywhere in the UK, staff want better pay and conditions. I think all we can do is be out here and show that we have a voice, we're not going to be silenced. We, what else can we do at this point? Our patients are dying. We're striking out of necessity. We don't have a choice but to be here. We've been, as I said, we've been getting poorer year after year. Uh, and it does get to the stage where we can't actually afford to do this job if it carries on this way. In Preston, colleagues from both services also stood in solidarity, as well as in Southampton, Bristol and beyond. Striking together on the same day like this is a real sign that these people are not going to back down. But hospital leaders are warning that the longer this goes on, the bigger it gets, the harder it is to run the service and care for patients. Disability campaigner Mick Scarlett was due to have spinal surgery tomorrow. It's been cancelled and the pain from that isn't just physical but mental too. No, I haven't left the house since August and I, until I have my surgery I really just can't do it because the pain is so much. And so this isn't, you know, like a, a, this is a surgery that means I either have my life back or I don't. And at, at the moment this is my, where I live, this is my world, my sofa. England though is looking increasingly out of step. Nurses and ambulance staff from three unions have all walked out today. The government's focusing on next year's pay award but unions want a deal on this year's pay. It's the same in Northern Ireland, but in Scotland, strike action's been paused to allow for new talks with the Scottish Government, and in Wales, only the Unite Union is walking out today, while other unions are considering an improved offer by the Welsh Government. So why won't the UK Government do the same? I don't think it's right to go back to last year, to last April, retrospectively. We should be looking forward to the pay review body uh, that is taking evidence now and working constructively with the trade unions in terms of ensuring that the evidence that goes to the pay review body reflects the wider pressure that the NHS has been under. But staff want pay to reflect that pressure this year and there's no sign yet that will change. Emily Morgan, News at 10.